Carrasco makes his third start of the season. Well, last night Bassett was the first starting pitcher for the Mets to get a loss, so Carrasco ready to start a new win, win streak. On a two to Brandon Belt, left-hand batter. The pitch swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a good breaking ball down and in, and Belt down on strikes. So for Carrasco, that is his 14th strikeout in 11 innings so far. Coming into the day through his first two starts, the righties are hitting just 100 against Carrasco. And he gets him looking at a changeup. Beautifully executed pitch by Carrasco. Well, how about these numbers for Lindor as a DH? He's only done it in 11 games in his career, but in those 11 games, he's hitting 447 with six home runs and 12 RBI. And Lindor cracks one in the air deep toward the right field corner. Gone if it stays fair, and it's out of here. Francisco Lindor DH Deluxe into the Coca-Cola corner to give the Mets the early 1-0 lead. Fourth of the year for Lindor. Lindor has tightened up his swing. Last year he got very long. And now he's getting the barrel through. So now they have two men on with nobody out. And here is Tyro Estrada. Giants try to, trying to tie the game and more. On the ground and nobody's there. Pass the dive at second base by McNeil. Coming around third, Crawford. The throw is late. Crawford scores standing, and the Giants have tied the game. And he knocks in another run, does Tyro Estrada. Escobar batting at 317, no homers, four RBIs, and the 0 1 hit deep to right field. Yastrzemski back into the corner, and it is gone. A home run. Eduardo Escobar hits it off the ascending wall above the orange line about 15 feet to the left of the foul pole in right field. Now you have to hope that Tomas Nito doesn't hit a ground ball here because he's hit into a couple of double plays already this year. Runners at the corners. Pitch. There's a high fly ball fairly deep to right over towards the line. Yastrzemski has got a good arm. He makes the catch. Here comes Jankowski to the plate. The throw will go to second. Jankowski scores. Still two balls two strikes on Lindor. That's line toward left center field. Dubon and Peterson move over. Neither can get there. It's a base hit. Peterson misplayed it. Lindor takes off for second. Then Dubon bobbled it, and Lindor went back to first. Dubon quickly backed up Peterson as that ball was misplayed in left center field by Peterson. And had Lindor realized that Dubon bobbled it too, he would have made it to second easily. So the Mets got the leadoff man on in the third. Here's McNeil who grounded out his first time up. And McNeil cracks one to deep right center. Back goes Yastrzemski near the wall, and it's off the fence. Lindor on his way to third is going to be waved home. Now stopped by Cora. Cora was waving him and then stopped him at the last moment. McNeil barely missed the Mets' third home run of the day. He'll settle for a long double. I think McNeil thought he had it out of the ballpark there. It's 380 where, where he hit it. Now Mark Canna will bat with two outs and runners on second and third. And Canna lines a base hit, and that'll bring in two. Lindor scores. McNeil right behind him. Marcana picks up his teammates with a two-out, two-run single, and it's five to one, New York. That's a big hit. First ball, fastball hitting. Those two-out RBIs are killers. Two-two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Good changeup again. As Carrasco punches out Crawford. Fourth strikeout for Carlos Carrasco. One and two to Casale with one out. And Carrasco with a nasty slider strikes him out. That's 11 straight now for Carrasco who had a stretch in his first start of the year in Washington where he re retired 15 in a row. See if Lindor is running. There goes Lindor. Strikeout. The throw. There. Double play. Uh, that's huge. Go from the 3-1 borderline strike call. McNeil doesn't think. Is a strike to a strikeout throw about situation. One two to rough. Swing and a miss. Got with a slider. Strikeout number six for Carrasco is now set down 14 in a row. So here's Peterson. First pitch to the left hand batter. Popped up. Shallow left. Long run for Escobar Lindor. And the left fielder Mark Canna makes the one hand catch. 15 straight from Carrasco. Nothing short of brilliant. Three hits for San Francisco and none since the second. One ball, two strikes on Brandon Crawford. And Crawford goes down swinging on the changeup. Seventh strikeout for Carrasco. He's now, he's now retired 16 in a row. One ball, one strike on Flores. Pitch. Behind the bag, sliding stop by McNeil, and he throws out Flores two down. 
Tyro Estrada two balls and one strike. In the air to left field and Canna barely has to move. Side retired 18 straight retired by Carlos Carrasco. What a day for the man called Cookie. That's five Giants one Brandon Belt on deck. Carrasco delivers. Yes yeah, swings and hits one a mile down the right field line headed for the corner and that ball is off the facing of the second deck. A booming home run for Mike Yastrzemski and that's his first home run of the year. And Buck Walter will take Carrasco out of the game and he will get an enormous ovation. Well, folks standing up for him and I'm standing up. It's only his 15th start as a man and Carlos Carrasco has delivered his signature performance. Runners lead from the corners one out five two Mets in the eighth the pitch Nimmo hits it in the air to right that'll get at least one home Yastrzemski way back can't get it it's off the base of the fence scoring easily from third is Guillaume and Nito stops at second as that ball is played in quickly so Brandon Nimmo gets credit for a single a run batted in it is though six to two New York.